Hey, what up? How you doing today? This is my new MacBook Pro. And before I purchase this MacBook Pro, I was really struggling. Do I have to buy first 14 inch or 16 inch? Do I need the M1 Pro or the M1 Max? Do I need the 16 gigabyte RAM or 32 or even 64? Many questions. Maybe you have these questions also right now before you're thinking to purchase any new MacBook Pro. I was a little bit pissed because my last MacBook Pro just two years back cost about 4,500 Euro. And now I bought the base model 16 inch with the M1 Pro with 60 gigabyte RAM. And this is faster working than my two years older, much more expensive laptop. So in this video, I want to explain and maybe help you to make the right decision, which is the right MacBook Pro for you. So first of all, and this is maybe a spoiler alert, but I guess you hear it already from many other creators. The M1 Pro, the M1 Max is the next level. I like to be very flexible. That's why I'm using a MacBook Pro. Um, but my older version from 2019, especially when I filmed with the Canon EOS R5, which has huge files, getting slow, getting slow, slow, slow. And that is the first reason why I purchased the new MacBook Pro and I guarantee if you're having 4K videos in Final Cut Pro, it works so smoothly. It's unbelievable. I'm so happy. I'm so glad now my workflow is much more faster. And that is one of my biggest points that why I need a laptop which is fast, especially in Final Cut Pro, but also in Lightroom and Photoshop, the performance is great. So when it comes to the battery, this is amazing because this is the first laptop in my life I ever used to have a battery for the whole day. I worked a little bit in Final Cut Pro. I worked a little bit in Adobe Premiere Lightroom and I watched the video on Netflix. I do some searching in Safari and until the evening, I never have to charge the battery. Apple is saying that you have a life of 21 hours maybe in the best condition. You can run also if you're doing very hard work on Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro that the battery will be empty in four hours, but that will be also in an extremely situation of working on the MacBook Pro. But as I said, there's 140 watt of power, fast charging with the Apple MacBook Pro. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about the fan. I didn't hear the fan. This video, the whole post-production I made on the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip with 16 gigabyte RAM. And the reason is because I just want to know if the base version of this MacBook Pro is enough for my workflow. And this video is totally made with the new MacBook Pro in 4K and I have no problem. I have no fan noise. So when I'm struggling, I can still send it back and order the 32 gigabyte of RAM. But as now, and that's really surprising for me, the 16 gigabyte RAM works fantastic. Wow! So the new old ports, the new old ports, I tell you, I put the dongles into the dongle. Uh, on the right side, there's a full size HDMI port and one Thunderbolt 4 and a half depth SD card slot. Left side, there are another two Thunderbolt 4 ports and a magnetic safe. By the way, this is the HDMI port only with 2.0 and not 2.1. Just like the SD card slot, that is also only the UH, UHA, UHS 2 speed but there's a newer, faster UH3 speed. If you consider that this MacBook costs a lot of money, I'm a bit surprised, by the way, but it doesn't bother me because I'm at least no longer 
need a dangle because this is in the jungle. So the touch bar, yes, there are no more. Do I miss them? No, because I have almost never used them. On the other hand, the entire keyboard is much more comfortable than on the previous models. And the whole keyboard is an improvement and the touch ID button in the corner works super quickly. The display. Yes, there is a notch, but too much has been said about it and it doesn't bother me at all in my work. 1000 nits continuously, 1600 nits in peak brightness, 10,000 mini LEDs, 3456 to 2235, that's 7.7 .7 million pixels. It's nearly a real 4K display. ProMotion comes to the Mac for the first time. That means everything looks extremely fluid because you have frame rates up to 120 Hertz. Video cutters can also choose fixed frame rates that exactly match their material. That helped me especially with this short clip. And the speakers. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, they are a lot of fun now. I've never heard of a laptop with so much space and bass. The MacBook Pro has 3D audio with its room-filling six-speaker system and advanced algorithm. The MacBook Pro supports 3D audio when playing music or video with Dolby Atmos. I can really tell you this sound of this laptop is so awesome. I enjoy and it's definitely my recommendation for this MacBook Pro 16 inch. So Apple, finally you made it and MacBook deserved now the name MacBook Pro. This tool is really for professional, especially when you are a content creator and want to cut or make post-production on Final Cut Pro. It works fantastic. I'm so happy even with the 16 gigabyte RAM. Let's see what comes next. I'm very pumped to see a new iMac 27 inch with the M1 Pro or M1 Max. That's today for my side. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it helps also to make your decision for your next MacBook Pro. Catch you up in the next one. Peace.